for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our video series on creating CSS layouts. In this series of videos, we're showing you how to create a two-column layout with a left menu that has a rollover effect on it. In our last video, we continued formatting this information here. In this video, we're going to go ahead and format the navigation div, which is right up here. I'll go into design view here really quickly, and you'll see there's that navigation div. I actually removed some of the CSS to, um, that we applied in the last video, and you'll see how to put that back in now. I'm going to come back over here to source code, and I'm going to go into my CSS, and again, you're going to see I've removed that nav style. So, I'm going to go ahead and come down here to the bottom, and I'm going to create that nav div again, and I'm going to apply a few different things. First thing I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to specify the width as 150 pixels. And when I save it, you'll see that that div comes over here to the left. And I'm going to say float this all the way over to the left, as far as you can. And what that will do is it will remove this spacing up here and allow my page content to move up. And I'll go ahead and save that. And I'll click over here, and sure enough, you'll see that that moved up. And you can check out our other videos on floats if you're interested in seeing uh, more about that. Now, right now, I can't see my bullets on here, but I want to make sure that the bullets never appear. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is format the unordered list inside of the nav div. And that's this, again, this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and take the bullets off. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead and select list style type. And the value will be none. And I'm going to save it. And again, you don't see anything because most of the time you can't see the bullets. But that'll make sure they never appear in any browser. Now I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And the next thing I want to do is I want to format the way... Um, these links look individually. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is, again, this applies specifically to the nav div, and I'm going to apply it to anchor tags or A tags. I want to make sure that they're displayed as a block so that when I put in my padding, they actually appear as buttons. And then I'll do padding, and I'm just going to say I want five pixels all the way around. And I'll click over here, and you'll see now these items are defined more as a block of items, and you're going to see the padding that's all the way around them. Maybe I'll give myself a little bit more padding here, like 8 pixels. There I go. And you can never go beyond the 150 pixels, and you can see that that's that limit there. So maybe I want to bump this up to like 153, and just, you know, you just got to kind of play with it to get it spaced in there, right. So I've added two properties now to my um, A tag. Now I also want to make sure that the width is 100% of the available space. So I'm going to go ahead and type in 100% for the width. I want to change the background color also of these buttons. And the background color that I'm going to choose is going to be um, an orange color. Go ahead and type that on in there and click over here. Save it. And you'll now see, actually you won't see a live view because I haven't clicked on live view. But now you'll see the way those anchor tags are being displayed. Now I'm going to go ahead and add um, the border that's going to separate these items. So I'm going to go ahead and do border bottom. And this is going to be a one pixel white solid border. Go ahead and save that. And then again, you're going to see those lines appear on your blocks. Now let's go ahead and 
again open up a nav div whoops and I want to format the links so I'm going to do an a link tag and I want it to look the exact same if my um, visitor has visited before so I'm going to go ahead and select the pseudo style a link to format the links and a visited to format visited links and I've just got a couple things that I want to do um, um, on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, set the color to being, and again this is the font color, to being um, something that will stand out. I'll make it red, why not? And I also want to take the underline off of my link, so I'm going to go ahead and do text decoration is none. And I'll go ahead and save that. Click over here and you'll see the effect that's now on my buttons. Now let's go ahead and do the hover effect. So again, this applies specifically, whoops, I forgot to close my div there. This is going to apply specifically to hover effects. And the only thing I want to happen when I change my hover effects is I want the button to change to a lighter color. So I'm going to go ahead and do background color and the background color is going to be, again, just a light orange. So I'm going to go ahead and do, um, let's say, FC6. And I also want to change the color of that, that so that I can see the links. So I'll set the background color to zero as well. Now let's go ahead and go to Preview in Google Chrome. Yes, I want to save the changes. And there is my rollover effect on my buttons. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.